today and get a great deal on a brand new 2012 Chevy. Right now, during Chevy Truck Month, you can take advantage of great pricing on a Silverado, Suburban, Tahoe, or Traverse. Be sure to hurry in while supplies last. PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. We do the show live Wednesdays at 4 Pacific, 7 Eastern. Plays throughout the weekend. Once again, the star of your show, the one and only Mr. Fred Dreyer. Thank you so much. Welcome to be welcome back, folks. Uh, glad, glad to be with you. Uh, 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 Marco Rubio, who I, I like an awful lot, I think, and one of the reasons I do is uh, because I'm... I'm uh, I'm always, I always look uh, at a politician's ability to shoot straight and not speak politically and to be able to articulate his position, whether you agree with it or not. Most of the things I do, I, I do agree with him on most of the things. But I think he really likes and understands that he should be in the position that he's in. I think he, he, he's a, he does a great job representing his district. I think he does a great job in uh, articulating his thoughts. And he's always very forthcoming and, and, and very honest. I, I, I have a great deal of trust in him, as much as you can for you know, a politician. Um, but he was, uh, he was after the uh, debate the other night with Sean Hannity, and they talked about, there was a five minute, five and a half minute conversation that they had had about, about everything that was Romney and mentioned, uh, you know, Barack's uh, performances and, uh, and, and, and the differentiation between the two and so forth and so on like they usually do. And, uh, you know, they do, a, they do a good good job. I think Sean Hannity, I think I like him in this position more than I do on his radio show. He drives me crazy. You know, he, Sean Hannity will, will sit there and, and have and talk to people who are completely stupid. Who are uninformed? Harry Reid calls. Harry Reid calls a show. Yeah, completely oh. emotional. Uh, they don't make sense. They don't listen. They're they're usually a single issue voter, and uh, uh, and he carries them way too long with the uh, with the intention of converting them. And I, I hate that. I don't want to convert anybody. I, I I want them to air their opinion, say thanks so very much, and move on. You know, and. Uh, and so, so, uh, but he does a good job here in this format after these, uh, after these uh, debates, and he brings on, you know, uh, you know the the heads of uh, the pundit, uh, you know, the roster of pundits that are out there lining up, queuing up. I think they just want to get on there to get the buffet in the green room. I think I, you're I right. really do. You know, the, the melon balls, I think that's why. Those were really good. Yeah, by they wrap them in bacon now. Did you know that? Yeah, I think Giuliani likes those. Yeah, they're delicious. Yeah, and uh, but uh, Marco Rubio was on and. Uh, uh, and, and here's what he was doing. He, he was talking about uh, what Romney's agenda in the debate was. And here he is talking with Sean Hannity after the debate. But you know what Governor Romney did tonight? When he pointed those things out, he did so within the context of what this campaign is about. For example, he talked about our leverage on Iran and the ability to get Iran to respond to a negotiation. And he pointed out all the actions the president took that sent the signal to the Ayatollahs in Iran that they didn't have to worry about Barack Obama, whether it was skipping Israel and his travels to the Middle East, whether it was the comments that he made in his speeches, whether it was his unwillingness to say anything about the protests in the Green Revolution in the early days of his presidency when folks took to the streets to protest the stolen elections in Iran. He correctly pointed out that Very all of those so. things were clear signals to the Ayatollahs that Barack Obama wasn't serious and was not to be worried about. See, see, what's really good, and, and I think he, he, uh, he, he addressed what, what my concern was when I was driving around in my car listening to the opening of the, uh, the first question, actually, that was presented to uh, uh, Mitt Romney. Uh, what, what Marco Rubio was addressing here is, is that uh, uh, Romney chose not to be branded for this w one and a half hour debate with the president. You notice the first Over, question was Libya too, because they yes, were trying to get him yeah, going. That's right. Schieffer was trying to get that question that's out right. so we could set the whole tone. They wanted to set the whole tone yeah. with Libya. You know, Brock had some answers. And he for that. soft pedaled it. Yeah. And so what? Uh, what uh, Mark was talking about here he, is that he did not want to make this one and a half hour branded with Libya and how he was driving hard and and spiking the football on this one issue that would make him look 
look harsh, aggressive to women, and to give the overall view that he was attacking the president. And I said this because, uh, and I believe this is true because I think they know that they're ahead in the polls. They wanted to attract women, and he wanted to, uh, to appear presidential. That is more important in the last debate. If you, haven't, if you haven't won the debate by now, and they would have known that, if you haven't won the debates uh, by now going into the last one, you're not going to win it on foreign policy. You're going to win it at the top where he won it on the first debate. He won the debate. He won the trifecta, the first uh, the debate that, uh, that, 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 that we saw the president collapse in. Uh, now, w w what, what we heard here was, you know, uh, uh, we heard Marco Rubio describe that uh, that that uh, Romney chose not to brand himself with the Libya issue. So what he did was he addressed the overall policy, the overall policy that that the president has. And uh, I, I'd like to, if I can, Tom. Can about we, a, we got just about a minute left. Can we, we get, a get minute it in left. There? When we come back, I, I, I'd like to I'd like to play it again, if I can. Uh, and, 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 and just to hit it again, because I think it was important to, to understand what was going on in, 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 in Mitt's camp. And I, and I believe the overview is, is that he was correct in doing it. And, and I also believe that the, the polls reflect that people thought he was correct in doing it. I don't think either person jumped out way ahead because of this. I think people are now realizing that, uh, that, the, uh, uh, that the die has been cast. They're going to vote who they're going to vote for. And unless Mitt shows up drunk, naked, outside of his hotel room tonight, I think uh -oh. he's got a good shot at it, you know. But uh, anyway, when we come back, we can wrap some stuff up, and we want to hear from Marco again. But uh, whatever you do, don't go away. PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. That's Fred Dreyer. Email Fred incoming at crni.net. That's incoming at crni.net. Download our cell phone app, CRN Digital Talk. Search for it. Listen to Fred when you're on the road. Don't forget our Facebook page, Facebook forward slash The Real Fred Dreyer.